On the 22nd of July 2018 in South Brazil, Tatiana Spitzner, a 29-year-old lawyer, and her husband of five years, Louis Manvile, went on a night out. Louis was a university biology lecturer and a jiu-jitsu martial arts specialist. From an outsider's perspective, their relationship looked almost perfect, but that was far from the truth. Tatiana's close friends allegedly spotted bruises on her arms on multiple occasions, and claim in text messages, Tatiana revealed that she was afraid of Lewis and accused him of mistreating her. Lewis appeared to have been extremely controlling during the relationship. During the couple's night out, Tatiana found a picture of another woman on Lewis's phone, which led to an argument. The pair finished the night early and started heading back to their apartment. The argument carried on in the car, and on their way back home at just past 2am, CCTV footage captured the couple's car stopping in the middle of the road, just outside their apartment block. In the video, you can see Lewis in the driver's seat, who appears to be hitting Tatiana, sat in the passenger seat, in the head multiple times. The couple then entered the apartment car park where the CCTV captured the horrifying moments before the murder of Tatiana Spitzner. Tatiana desperately tried to flee from Lewis, but he overpowered her and forced her into the apartment, where the attack continued for a further 15 minutes. During these 15 minutes, neighbours reported to have heard desperate screams for help, but no one came to her aid. Tatiana was thrown from the apartment balcony. She fell 40 foot, nearly four storeys, to the concrete below. This was also captured on CCTV. Police were called to the scene and found a pool of blood on the sidewalk, but the body was missing. A witness reported seeing Lewis stood next to Tatiana's lifeless body, shouting, My love, wake up. After throwing her off the balcony, Lewis had gone back down to retrieve Tatiana's body, dragging it back into the elevator. All of this was also caught on the elevator's CCTV, However, I cannot show some of the footage due to its extreme graphic nature. In the footage, you can see Lewis covered in blood holding his head in his hands with Tatiana's lifeless body laying on the elevator floor next to him. 
He then dragged her body into his apartment. CCTV captured Lewis in the elevator again, attempting to clean up Tatiana's blood before getting in his car and leaving. Lewis was arrested on suspicion of murder 185 miles away from the city after he crashed his car on the motorway. He told investigators that during an argument she died after throwing herself off the balcony. Lewis claimed he fled the scene because he was too disturbed by the image of his wife jumping. He was asked about the CCTV footage of him attacking Tatiana before entering the apartment. He said he didn't remember doing it. Lewis said that when they got into the apartment, they continued to argue, and Tatiana climbed onto the balcony and threatened to jump, which she then apparently followed through with. However, during the autopsy, the imprints of a pair of hands were found on Tatiana's throat, and a bone located at the front of the neck was fractured. This is an injury commonly associated with strangulation. Investigators proved the victim was killed inside the apartment by asphyxiation and her body was thrown over the balcony of the apartment, potentially to make it look like a suicide. Lewis was sentenced to 31 years in prison for the murder of his wife, Tatiana Spitzner. In prison, Lewis still protests his innocence. The CCTV clips of the attack have since gone viral and raised awareness for the domestic violence in Brazil. In 2016, estimates indicate that over 12 women were killed per day in Brazil. In Brazil, there's an old saying, when it's a fight between husband and wife, don't stick a spoon in. The term don't stick a spoon in means not to get involved. A campaign was made to abolish this saying, stick a spoon in, to encourage people to help sufferers of domestic abuse and speak up about domestic violence.